At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The Floyd County Sheriff's Department responded to a report of a suspicious person at Weeksbury Monday night, which led to the arrest of two men on drug charges. Deputies uh, with, the, with the Sheriff's Office had made a traffic stop in the Weeksbury community of Floyd County. Uh, upon that traffic stop, a uh, deputy was able to obtain enough uh, information and items that they secured a search warrant, uh, also in the Weeksbury community of Floyd County. Uh, on Depot Street, uh, which is a place that we've had a lot of uh, tips on and a lot of uh, activity that our narcotics officer has been watching, and this led to the search warrant, uh, which led to an arrest of uh, 26-year-old Trey Little of Pikeville. Uh, he was arrested and charged with trafficking in methamphetamine and trafficking in fentanyl. 40-year-old Josh Burchett of Weeksbury, he was uh, arrested and charged with possession of fentanyl and possession of methamphetamine. During the search, deputies discovered nearly 50 grams of fentanyl and 40 grams of crystal meth. Uh, 50 grams of fentanyl is probably enough to kill 25 to 30,000 people. So it was real important that that's taken off the street uh, in the communities here in Floyd County. What people don't understand, even 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 people that's, that's addicts, uh, they're, their methamphetamine's getting cut with this fentanyl, and it's uh, they're being too much put in. They're taking too much, but the fentanyl is is very very lethal. Uh, even if our deputies get it on their skin, they start feeling sick and and those things. So fentanyl is dangerous. So to get that much fentanyl off the street is is a big accomplishment for our deputies. Both men are currently being lodged in the Floyd County Jail. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.